Hi, this is Mark from LongIslandWatch.com. I had the bright idea to show you loom, a full, full loom dial watches from a bunch of different genres. Um, I got five to show you. I've got, I'm looking over at them, a, a diver, uh, a Swiss diver, um, a chronograph, a pilot, a field. Uh, so you can kind of check them out. You know, full loom dialed watches are not all that popular. Um, a lot of times the dials don't have a pure white cast to them, uh, so I think people might be turned away, but the benefit when the lights go down is totally amazing. They pop, they're very legible, um, and they really just look cool. You know, when you walk inside from a dark room and you go, holy smokes, look at that. For my own wrist check today, I am all sporting the same watch as I was wearing on a previous video still. Uh, my Islander, this is an ISL 04 prototype. Um, I've been wearing it. I do want to pop, I did get a new H-Link bracelet um, for SKX 007 cases. Uh, it's our BRAC BRAC-81. I'm going to put it on here eventually so I can show it to you. And on my other wrist, uh, I'm wearing my Squale Matic. Not the only Squally you're going to see today. Squally Matic uh, with the beautiful blue dial on the white rubber strap. Let's see the bright watches. So let's roll right into it. The first one up, um, I'm going to try to go in price order. This is a Bertucci A2S Ballista. Uh, it is 345 bucks. This is model number 11122. Uh, they make a few of these A2S Ballistas with the full loom dial. This is actually a relatively new release. It came out, I want to say, within the last four to six weeks. Um, really sweet watch with the uh, IP black case. IP black cases and loom dials obviously work so well together because of the contrast. Uh, this is just awesome. I believe also this is the only one we're going to see today that features X1 loom. Super Luminova is made in a few grades. Um, generally, it's like standard grade uh, is what most people will use. Bertucci is using what's known as X1, which is basically Super Luminova's top grade, the most luminosity, 60% uh, more based on whatever testing standards um, that are accepted. So it is, uh, let's get into it, it's a 40 millimeter case, it's 12 thick to a flat sapphire crystal. Being a Bertucci and being a rugged field watch, um, the crystal is set just below the bezel. You can see that there to protect the crystal uh, from shattering, not from scratching, in this case from shattering. We are 49 millimeters on the lug tip to lug tip. We have beautiful lug bars held in with um, recessed hexes or Allen wrenches or whatever you want to call them, Allen keys. It's a screw down crown. 22 millimeter lug, of course, comes on Bertucci's beautiful ballistic nylon strap with matching blasted hardware. You can see the model number and stuff on it. 94 grams, 345 bucks. Um, what should we do? Should we do the looms? Why don't we save the looms for the um, end? Um, that way we can see them all together. I'll bring them all up one by one. Uh, it'd be easier that way. So this is the entry from Bertucci. So that was your field. Here is your diver that I picked. Um, well, there's two divers. One of them is a Swiss diver. This is obviously an Islander. Uh, Islander does a few different full loom um, models. This one, we got the ISL 62, which is the great wave dial. But I dig this one. This is from the Sands Point collection. It is a titanium case, titanium clasp. It's all wrapped up there. I don't want to scratch it. Uh, it is a nice blasted grade 2 titanium, so it has a very nice dull, lusterless appearance. Uh, and this is considered our coral dial. Uh, it is, you'll see when the lights go out, it's beautiful, it's fully loomed, there's a little bit of a pattern in it. Um, you have the markers are done in black, black hands for a ton of contrast. A sapphire bezel insert that also, of course, is glow in the dark. A nice loom. This is all Super Luminova. We're looking at... Uh, you know, I'm sorry, on the Bertucci, I don't think I mentioned it, let's look at my notes. It's a Swiss-made Ronda 7, this is a Swiss-made Ronda 715 movement with uh, end-of-life EOL indicator. Sorry, okay, so we're looking at, this is a standard SKX 007 uh, fair, 43 millimeters or 42 and a half, 14 thick to a flat sapphire crystal with AR on the inside, 47 millimeters lug tip to lug tip. Lug holes for easy strap changes solid screw down case back embossed with the uh, Islander Lighthouse. Um, it is a titanium back as well, very hypoallergenic. Uh, rubber strap, 22 millimeters, conforms to the case wonderfully, nice clasp, 200 meters of water resistance, screw down crown, 108 grams uh, on the straps, all like that. 
And uh, let's see, this runs, so this guy has an automatic, the first guy was a quartz, he has an automatic, runs on a Seiko NH38 movement, which is a, a true no-date automatic, 40 hours of power reserve, hand winds, and hacks. Let's go, well, let's go see what we can get in a chronograph. So here we go with the chrono. This entry comes from Hemel, clearly Hemel, uh, run by Marvin Menke. Menke is, Menke, what do I call him Menke? Marvin. Marvin is a Long Islander like me, uh, so kind of cool. Uh, we're both, we're both local. We do see each other quite often. Uh, the Hemel is, there's a couple models. Uh, this is the HF-19, there's an HF-25. They all run on a uh, Siegel ST-19 movement. Uh, let's get into the case really quick. It's a 40 millimeter case, so very cozy. 13.4 thick to a uh, domed anti-reflective sapphire crystal. It's 47 millimeters on that lug tip to lug tip. Beautiful polished case, looks really nice, right? Might have just spit on it. Sorry about that. Uh, exhibition case back, so you can see the beautiful movement. 20 millimeter lug for this gorgeous, kind of like honey brown cognac maybe, uh, leather strap with contrast stitching. 100 meters of water resistance. Uh, and it is a full loom dial despite what you may think. And again, I'll show you the loom when we get to the end. Uh, see that starts stops, reset. When I originally got these watches in years ago, Marvin's gone through a couple of these by Compax Chronos um, like this. Um, he offered them in like black, what he called ivory, this one, and um, olive, whatever. And I remember I was tooling around with the ivory one and I happened to look at the loom and I took it into the dark and the whole dial glowed. And I was like, Marvin, the whole dial glows. That's awesome. He's like, yeah. I'm like, Marvin, you gotta advertise that. That's amazing. That's like so cool. So wait till you see the, when the lights go out on this one, you're gonna love it. But this would be our entry from uh, our chronograph entry into the full loom dial um, arena. It is $4.99. That's three of them. Let's see the fourth um, in price. I wanted, I'm want i trying to go in price order, as I said. Here is a Swiss diver. Now, when I did my top five dive watch picks for 2023, uh, just a couple weeks ago, uh, I'll put a little link to it, uh, a lot of you got bent out of shape that there was no squally. I apologize. You know, what can I do? So I say when I do the full loom video, I will show the Squale 1521 full loom diver. This would have been better without a date to kind of you know, mess up the dial balance, if you will, especially with those beautiful orange stripes. But this is their full loom entry. And you can see what I mean when I said before in the, in the opening that um, there's a trouble, there's, they're not pure white. So this is very yellow, as you can see. Um, it turns out that the yellower a paint is in daylight, the stronger it's going to loom. Um, this actually does a decent job because this is, uh, we, we engineered it to be white. But like your C3 super looms, uh, which is kind of like what this is, uh, is more green or yellow in the daylight because it, then it really blasts at night. Okay, so we're looking at a Solita SW200 uh, automatic movement, Swiss movement, elaborate grade. 42 millimeters in diameter. Um, it's 42 to the bezel, it's like 41 to the case. Beautiful case, 1521, 50 at most case, perfection. 12 and a half thick to a flat sapphire crystal. We're gonna be 48 millimeters on the lug tip to lug tip. Solid screw down case back. We're gonna have 500 meters of water resistance. So cool. Uh, 20 millimeter strap. And this comes on a black tropic strap. Very comfortable, very cozy. Beautiful squale signed buckle. Weighs 100 grams on the strap. Price here, 1,085 bucks. That's a Swiss made diver squale. Italian company. They make their watches in Switzerland, uh, right on the very close to the border of uh, Switzerland and Italy. They actually kind of traverse back and forth between the two countries. Uh, Casquale is an Italian brand making Swiss made watches. Let's get up there, see that? So double branded, right? Squale at the top, Squale at the bottom. There is a reason for that. You've heard me say it in case you're new though. It, uh, Squale was a case maker first. Uh, so the case maker got their position on the bottom half of the dial and then the brand got their position at the top half of the dial. In this case, Squally is making the case for Squally. Very uh, kind of a historical significance, really cool. 120 click, unidirectional ratcheting bezel. Wonderful case finishing, nice polish. Aluminum insert with a little loom pip. Ta-da! And that is your Swiss Diver. Let's see something from our German friends. Here is the Laco. Uh, here it is. This is the Veen. 
uh, model number 862154. They make this in a B dial, which is what this is. They make it in an A dial, and they also make them in, I believe, 42 millimeter sizes. This is, is that, what am I doing? It's winding up. There you go. I want to set it back just a bit. So this is a um, 39 millimeter pilot watch. Wears beautifully. Uh, it is, so you can see the glass goes right to the edge. So even though it's 39 millimeter, it wears more like a 42 diver or 43 diver. It is a Laco, um, Laco, it's a Laco movement, basically a Salita SW200-1 elaborate grade movement. It is a blasted stainless steel case. 39 millimeters in diameter, 12.2 to a slightly, slightly domed sapphire crystal, 46 millimeters on the lug tip to lug tip. And on the expensive Lacos, you get those beautiful lugs, almost look like wire lugs in a, in a way. You know, conve you know, you have to compare it to conventional case lugs. Just really see the difference of what's going on and appreciate the engineering, you know, appreciate the engineering behind it, how it's machined away. Really looks cool. Uh, Sapphire crystal, I mentioned, comes on a black aviator strap with double rivets, 100 meters of water resistance, weight is 77 grams on the strap, price $1,190. But this is a true Flieger watch made by Laco. Laco is a contraction of La Care and Company. They are one of the five original um, companies that made uh, uh, Pilot's watches for the Luftwaffe. So this is the B dial. It's an observation dial. So you can see the hour hand uh, points to a little track um, in the minute, a uh, yeah, little track on the inner part of the dial. And then minutes are prominent. They are the larger scale, much larger scale uh, for navigation purposes. We are going to set ourselves up for some loom. And now uh, let's do them in order that we, um, in order that I showed them. Uh, let's see. Um, a little bit of a mess, as you can tell. But there we go. What I'm going to do, just so we can get some rules down, right? I'm going to set the camera. I'm going to, I'm going to use this, cam this flashlight, same flashlight for all of them. I'll expose the watch for like five seconds, and then I will go to the night shot. I will not change the camera settings from the first watch, uh, just so we're kind of like, uh, you know, we're not bumping up the exposure and we're fair to everybody. F-stop of seven, ISO of 10,000, if you're curious. This is the Bertucci. It's insane how well that glows. I mean, oh yeah, that was my hand. Okay, I'm gonna pick up the watch. Look at my glove, you, can you see it on my glove? Is that nuts? It is nuts. Wow, that's crazy. I'm gonna put it back down, it takes the camera a second to focus. That is the Bertucci. Let's move on to, who was next, right? It was the Islander. Um, Islander is next. So here's the Islander, also done in C3 Superloom, uh, and then the hands are done in BGW9 uh, to be blue. Extremely, extremely legible, looks fantastic. The coral pattern is beautiful, really, really nice. Let's go to that Hemel, if you recall, I had an ivory dial. There's the Hemel. Look at the dual time bezel, sharp, crisp, looks awesome. Uh, eh. What can you say? Like I said, ivory dial, kind of surprising that it glows, but it glows really, really, really well. Next up is our entry from Squale. I love the, the like on the Bertucci, the negative hands. Um, hands are not lit at all. Uh, and so it kind of casts a shadow across the dial. That, that looks really nice, right? Uh, super easy to read. Uh, hey, loom dials are just the greatest. Let us check out the Laco. And there's the Laco. Again, it looks, it looks killer. It's so easy to read, again, with the negative hands. Loom, full loom dials are just so much fun. Uh, they really look awesome, 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 awesome. And that's about it. Uh, I'm not gonna try them on, because this is more of a just showcasing loom dial kind of thing, but I picked watches that pretty much are ideal for my wrist size. I would wear all of these, you know, 42, a 40, um, what was this guy, a 40, one or 42, uh, a 39 and a 41 on the case, 42 on the bezel. So really looks awesome. I've definitely done videos on everybody except this guy in the past. So that's about it. This has been Mark from LongIslandWatch.com showing you some loom dial options. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. S subscribe to the channel if you have not done so. Questions, comments, concerns, anything else you want to say, you can put it down below. And I'll be sure to address it as soon as I can. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.